Hello folks and welcome to another year of Advent of Code in F Sharp. This video will be a short introduction uh, uh, to the series. So uh, let's dive right into it, shall we? Uh, first of all, what is Advent of Code? Advent of Code is a daily programming challenge in the month of December where you get uh, from the 1st to the 25th, you get a new puzzle. Uh, I'm not going to click them open. I'm not going to spoil the fun for you. But uh, every day you'll get a new line here. Uh, you open it. Let's maybe go to last year. That's not a spoiler, right? So you open it. There's a puzzle. The puzzle will probably involve a bit of programming, of course. And there's a, a part two with a twist. So you always have to like rethink your algorithms a bit. It's really fun. Uh, it's really popular as well. And I will be solving them in F Sharp. But if this is interesting to you, I urge you to check out the site and join in on the fun. Uh, let's quickly take a look at how I solve them and uh, what this series is all about. Uh, it's in F Sharp. So, what is F Sharp? F Sharp is a programming language in the .NET family. So, it is a sibling of C Sharp, but it takes a more functional approach. So, if you've ever heard about functional programming, it's all about um, trying to limit mutations, so don't modify variables, stuff like that. Use a lot of functions and pass functions around. And it's a bit of a different mindset than the, the traditional object-oriented uh, style. And I have fallen in love with it. And I last couple of years, I just uh, solve a lot of uh, advent of code with it. And that's what I'll be doing here. Uh, and I'll quickly go over at uh, what you're seeing here so it all kind of makes sense once we dive into the exercises uh, tomorrow so what you're seeing here is a .fsx file it's a script file and uh, you could write f sharp like you do c sharp like with solutions with projects with a compile and a build step but uh, these script files are really neat because i can just select the line of code let's do that so i select some code here these two lines and i press alt enter and this code is actually being executed down here. So I can select some code, run it, select some code, run it, and it remembers everything. So when I when I do this line, it remembers that example uh, contains hehe <laughs> stuff like that. So it's a really fun and interactive way of programming. Uh, this is often called a REPL or a read eval print loop. It's a bit like tests, unit tests, test-driven development, but done in, it's on steroids because uh, <laughs> you just have to press a button. Uh, so yeah, this is the approach I will be using. I will, I will just be hacking out some scripts here uh, in a script file, and I have some very lightweight approach to tests, but I won't be like writing unit tests for everything. I especially will not be test driving my code. I will just be having fun and explaining functional concepts to you. So if that sounds interesting, and if you would like to join me on this adventure, I invite you to check out this series. I hope to see you. Thanks and bye bye.